live from Washington, D.C., it's theCUBE, covering Inforum DC 2018. Brought to you by Infor. Well, good morning and welcome to day two here on theCUBE at Inform 2018. We are in the nation's capital, the Water Washington Convention Center. And uh, thank goodness the sun's come out today. Everybody's got a big smile and cheery faces. <laughs> it's good to see. Dave Vellante, John Walls here. Uh, we're just on top of the show floor. You'll see a lot of activity a little bit later on in the day. And it's a pleasure to welcome our first guest of the day, Billy Sutherland, who's the CEO of uh, Iron Road. Billy, good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you guys for having me on. How's great to see you. How's yeah. Yeah, great to see you. So far. What's, what's, uh... It's been great. Yeah, it's been great. Outside of the fact that we got bumped from our hotel when we first showed up. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, but the show's been fantastic. Good. Always great to network, learn what other folks have going on, and uh, yeah, been phenomenal. Tell us about Iron Road, uh, and, and what you do, and, and why you're here. Yeah, yeah, so we're an HR outsourcing company, and uh, we've been doing HR and payroll since 1997. Uh, company started uh, uh, really just uh, with an idea. And um, so uh, as we have grown through the years, uh, working with mostly small to medium sized businesses, we had an opportunity with Infor just a couple of years ago uh, to partner with them on the payroll side of things. And so it's been a new opportunity for us, one that our team is incredibly excited about. I mean, it's just great opportunity to partner with some phen you know, phenomenal software. And um, so, yeah, yeah, that's... Uh, so services that you guys provide, so HR, payroll, um, you got a portal, uh, onboarding, take, take us through that. Is a full suite of, of full complement of services? It is, yeah. So we, you know, our, our typical client is a small to medium sized employer and we'll go in and so many of the things that they've got to do internally that have nothing to do with why they got into business, they can outsource to us. So anything from the beginning uh, to the end of an employee's life cycle is what we manage. So it's, uh, it, it, you name it, and we do it for them so that they can go and focus on what they do. So let me, let me probe that a little bit. So if I have, let's say I have a, a, an HR issue with an employee, um, it, you know, maybe they're a little older and I'm concerned that I'm going through the right steps, giving that employee the, the right guidance. I don't want to expose my company to any whatever, lawsuits or whatever. Yeah. Can I call you up and say, hey, give me some guidance on how I should handle this from an HR perspective? What do I have to document? You would help me with that? David, that's a, perf I mean, that's a perfect example, right? And so the whole liability uh, of being an employer is something that they can share with us, right? So somebody that focuses on HR and knows those laws and rules and regs, they pick up the phone, they call us, they say, hey, Billy, got an issue, can you come out? One of our folks will go out, consult with them, make sure that everything's documented, managed properly, and uh, yeah, that's exactly okay, what so we Okay, so healthcare <laughs> compliance, Obamacare, uh, uh, PTO policies, I'm a small company, I want to make sure that I'm not like, killing my cash flow with you know, balance sheet stuff, I mean, all that stuff you can help with. You got it, yeah, absolutely. And you bring up healthcare, I don't know any employee, employer, regardless of the size, that's not dealing with that, right? So the whole ACA compliance with Obamacare has been a tremendous boom for our business because people are looking left and right, how do we deal with this? What do we do? It's so complex for them, that, you know, they're looking for experts to manage it. I mean, that's kind of the tip of the spear. I mean, that's why, right. it, particularly small, mid-sized businesses, it's healthcare first because it's so expensive and, and it's so important to the employees, right? It is, yeah. And I would say most folks that we deal with, it's number two line item right after payroll, right? I mean, they're dealing with healthcare and everybody's looking for answers. It's like, what do, how do we do this? And, and the employees are asking the same question, right? And they're looking at the employer saying, give me a solution. There is no real solution. Uh, outside of being able to maybe aggregate with some other smaller employers so we can go to the large healthcare companies that are out there and say, okay, I tell you what, we got about 5,000 people here now. What do, we, what do you think about our buying yeah, power at this point? Then, then it works. Yeah. That's it, you just yeah. scale it. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah. Okay, 1997. Uh, well, first of all, you're Cincinnati based. I'm going to come back and talk about that. But 1997, sure. just getting, coming into the dot com boom, the state of software was, you know, back then, PeopleSoft was the gold standard. There was no cloud, really. You, you had these you know, software companies doing, yeah. I forget what they even called it now, but, but it was like software as a service pre SaaS. Um, and kind of clunky software. And, and now you fast forward to. Today, yeah. you know, you're all cloud, you're agile, but so how'd you get started? Take us through kind of the technology progression. Yeah, so 
the, the start was an interesting one. I wish we I wish we could tell you we had a great idea, but it was a complete accident, right? We were trying to I was trying to help out two different friends uh, who were in two separate businesses. They they both had done extremely well in their separate businesses. And uh, so they started what is now Iron Road. And uh, after about 12 months, both of them had done so well in their other businesses, they looked at each other and said, they each thought the other one was going to be pulling the wagon, right? And so neither one of them wanted to do it. So one of the guys came to me and said, hey, Billy, you want to buy 50% of this? And I said, well, what is it? And he explained it to me. And I said, I love this concept. It's a great idea. And so I said, how much? He said, $8,000. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the it's been a like, good. Like a lawnmower. It's been a good, yeah. I bought, I bought half a lawnmower, right? So, uh, so it was such a great idea. You sure you want to charge more? Yeah, yeah I said $8,000. Yeah. Yeah, but he had no clients, right? They had a little bit of software that they had purchased to be able to do the payroll. So that's really where we started. So, you know, kind of caveman, like you said, David. And so. And the, what's your client base now? What, what, what do you have? So we're using the Infor cloud base. Yeah, the human capital but management I mean, who, system. I mean, far, as far as the number of organizations that you're serving. Oh, pardon. How have you grown the business? Pardon. Yeah. yeah so, sorry. you know, really, it's just been, um, it's been good old-fashioned hard work for us. It's been, we, we've not made any purchases, no acquisitions. Uh, and so we've got some amazing people that have a real passion about what we do. And we do it really well. The differentiator between us and some of the big guys that are out there really is our people. You hear people talk about that, but our people are really focused on it. And so, you know, and pretty soon that reputation begins to, to spread, right? You know, like you said, we're in Cincinnati, Ohio, and currently we're operating in 38 different states. And uh, so a little bit at a time, year after year, we've been digging and digging and digging. And, um, in regards to the question you asked, David, right? So we start with the lawnmower, and here we end up sitting with you guys talking about Infor and this cloud-based suite that uh, we've been able to to manage and bring in, and so really exciting for you know somebody like us. So talk a little bit more about the the cloud suite. You know how, how you use it, how you use it to differentiate from the competition. You know why it's maybe better than some of the other yeah. alternatives you see. That's a great question because most our business is professional employer organization. Most of the PEO softwares are um, are fairly limited in what they can offer the the employers that they're working with, and so we vetted. We had a, a Anka Kalp, um, uh, our CIO, was vetting five different systems a couple of years ago, and in the midst of uh, vetting those five different systems, we had we were introduced in for right, and as we began to do what this software, we began to see what this software could do. Um, we started getting really excited. You talk about a differentiator in the in the workplace. Nobody else has it, mm -hmm. right? And so we started learning more and more the human capital management system for us. We started thinking, man, if we can take this to employees or employers that have anywhere between 500 and 5,000 um, employees. This is a this is a real differentiator for us, right? And so, uh, no, like I said, nobody else in the PEO space has the has the software, and so it's been a tremendous opportunity for us to take to the marketplace. So that's kind of your sweet spot, five hundred to five thousand. So not under a hundred, right? SM true SMB is kind of not your sweet spot. <laughs> well, we we will actually we'll go all the way down to twenty employees, uh -huh. and so um, but the. The, the 20 employer companies, it's a, the, the resources that they have internally to be able to integrate the systems is a little more challenging. Um, but, but we get it done. And so anywhere between 20 and probably 5,000 employees are the typical employer that we're working with. So what's, what kind of integration uh, items does a customer have to think about specifically? So by integration you items. Said, you, said, you said kind of small companies don't have the resources to do the integration. So what, what, a, what, are the, what has to be done to do that integration? Yeah, so there's, it's, it's a lot of lifting, right? I mean, there's, there's lots of work to be able to establish the systems with the employers that we're taking mm -hmm. you know, the software to. And so uh, just a lot of, of uh, hands-on between Iron Road and the companies that we're dealing with. So the smaller companies are really focused on you know, going out and doing whatever it is, whether they're a contractor or doctor's office. And so to be able to have a resource that can dedicate the time to be able to activate the system and make it do what they want it to do is, is somewhat challenging for the smaller employers. Anyway. But wouldn't they have to do that with any outsourced HR provider? They, they would. Um, they, they may not uh, be able, they, they probably are not taking the software to the depth of uh, its utilization um, or, or potential utilization. 
Um, and so they're kind of doing without it. So the, the bigger guys getting more business value out of, out, out of your offering. Is there's, there's no doubt about it. Or the smaller guys, it just takes a little bit longer <laughs> to get them there. Yeah. That's really the challenge. They, they both get the same value, just takes a little bit longer. Yeah. Yeah, 21 years, right, you've been doing this. So, so you've obviously seen business change. Not that old, I don't know how that happened. Well, you start very young. <laughs> thank, I'm, I'm glad you said must that. must have been what? I wonder why they skipped me with the makeup. I'm no, like, okay. thank you guys. Don't need it. Uh, we do. Uh, <laughs> uh, so you've been at 21 years. Yes. So you've seen business change. Yes. Right? You've seen technology Ooh. change, right? Night and day. So where, where now, you know, where are the pain points now? Because it seems like, well, we've solved all these problems, right? Automation, things are much easier. Well, there's always a yeah, but. Yeah. So what's the but now for, yeah. for your folks? Yeah, I think the biggest thing for us in our industry is getting the message out. You know, when we look at PEOs in Ohio, for example, about 2% of the workforce is working with a PEO. And so because there are so few of them out there doing it really well, um, getting that message out to the employer, because once we get them, once they come in and they see, you know, you said they got to do this if they're outsourcing HR anyhow. Once they become aware of what's available to them, they don't leave. Right? So their pain's still the same. Pain's still the same. You're just trying to get out to, to let them know well, you can you can help. That's it. Yeah. That's it. I think I think that's probably our biggest pain point is how do you get this message out and you know different parts of the country obviously you've got you've got different attitudes towards or people move at different paces and in Ohio there's still a you know I'm looking at David saying uh, what is PEO I've never heard of it I don't know if I trust you mm -hmm. and so overcoming that is is probably our you know biggest obstacle. Billy, talk a little bit about. Uh, Infor, its its products. You're, I, I, if I understand it correctly, you're both a consumer and essentially a reseller of the services, which means you're running on the Amazon cloud. So, talk about your relationship there. Why Infor? You know, why the yeah. product? How does it compare? Because you probably evaluated everything. We did. Yeah, yeah, we did. And we, you know, for us, like I said, we've added five different companies that we were looking at, and when we had a chance to look at the Infor. Um, uh, proposal, the the differentiator for us, uh, not only was the software from our perspective far and above better than anything else that we were looking at, um, they provided us with an opportunity since we were purchasing the software to be able to provide an in-tenant solution for current clients that Infor has. So an Infor client that looks at the software and says, hey, I want this, and yet they're still outsourcing their payroll, now has the ability to buy the software and outsource the payroll to Iron Road. And so you're taking you know, the best in class uh, cloud suite services from a human capital management system to the marketplace and partnering with a company like Infor that uh, you know, really is a dream come true for us. So what makes it best in class? I mean, you know, Oracle's got good software, yeah, you got SAP out there, Workday's the hot company. Why is Infor, you said better, why is it better? Yeah, I think, um, you know, for us, just the ease of the employer being able to utilize the system, you can have the best thing in the world, and if people don't, people are people are people are people, right? You know, they got to be able to get on there and use the stuff, you know? And so I think the ease of being able to, just the user-friendly side of, of what Infor does, they certainly have every option you can imagine uh, in regard, the, the, the capability of the software is, is as good, if not better than any, but the ability for people to pick it up quickly and be able to use it and make it real for their small business, to me, that's, that's, that's the key, right? Was the, was the use of AWS Cloud a, a factor? Um, or was that kind of transparent to you? Yeah, 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 not really, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah, is there an aha moment when you're out there when you are pitching and, and when, you, when you look at people and the processes they go through and they've been doing it the same way for decades, and, yeah. and, and how do you, so when you break through, how do you know you've broken it's, through? Well, what is it that you use to break through? Yeah, 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 and for them, once we, you know, once we're able to articulate what the system actually does, there is an aha moment, and it's almost disbelief. It's because there's so many years of doing it, you know, uh, the old way, right? And then they look and see, it's, it's kind of like, you know, me looking at the software that your company's created that was phenomenal, right? They're looking at it going, come on, really? It really does that? And it's, yeah, it really does that. We, yeah, we can yeah. do this different and you can go, you know, sell more widgets, right? Yeah, thank you so, for yeah. Way, showing Billy our, our search, video search software. So appreciate that. Amazing, yeah. I mean, it's unbelievable. <laughs> it is. is. Yeah, Star Trek. <laughs> yeah. So, 
I want to ask Dating you. myself. I want to ask you. <laughs> We're all in the same boat. Easy okay. spot. I want to ask you about the resources that are required for you to do integration within for, uh, actually, so outside funding, other than the 8,000 that you put in. Did you guys, have you raised that, outside hey, funding? Or? David, that was a lot of money at the time, yeah, man. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of money. And you could do a lot with 8,000, but you can't build a full software suite. So have you taken outside capital or? Uh, we haven't. Okay, you know, so we self-funded. Yeah, we're self-funded, and uh, frankly, or uh, fortunately, we've been able to to manage through it. This this uh, partnership with Infor for us is a big, big step for us, right? And um, so, but at this point, we've been able to you know to manage that without any funding outside, and um, so yeah. Okay, so you, it's not like an intense engineering effort, right? You're turnkeying this stuff largely. So you put more of your effort on onboarding clients from what I understand, right? Right, and working with other N4 partners, Bales, for example, was our implementation manager. And so our folks working with Bales to make sure, because we've got hundreds of clients that we, in, in lots of different industries that we've got to go out and, and roll this implementation out into, right? And so it's a little different than the typical N4 uh, arrangement, because there's so many different industries represented just through Iron Road. And you guys dog food this? I, they don't like when I say dog food. Do you drink your own champagne? So you're utilizing the <laughs> much, Infor. Much better. You're, you're, you're utilizing the Infor software in-house, correct? We are. We are. Yeah, yeah. So if, if, you know, from an implementation standpoint, easy to do that, right? I mean, you have, you have somebody like Bales and Cindy in that has helped us and phenomenal at what they do. Great partners for Infor. Um, but then we've got to turn around and take that out to hundreds of different employers. And, and so scaling that is, is a bit of a challenge. Um, and again, depending upon the amount of uh, resources that the different clients have, which all, all, all changes depending upon their size. Um, but it's been great. Yeah, so far so good. Thank right. you so much. Well, Billy, thanks yeah, for the time. Uh, we, we do appreciate it, and I assume at Cincinnati that you might be one of those long-suffering Bengals fans. Hey, time out. <laughs> hey, two and one. I know. Two I know. and one. I Andy know. Dalton. Yeah. We're not big Carolina fans right one now. Two here in New England. So that's, yeah, that's you guys are in England. trouble. Yeah, well, we'll see you after this week. The forty-something yeah. maybe hit uh, Big Tom. Yeah. All right, <laughs> that discussion to continue off the air. All right, Billy Sutherland, <laughs> Iron Road CEO. Thanks Thank you guys so much. Yeah, enjoyed it. Yeah, we'll thanks, continue. Uh, we are live here in Washington D.C. at Inform 2018. Back with more on the Cuban just a bit.